And then I video it and I put it up on Facebook. Ha ha, you can see yourselves jumping about in Vegas. Right, okay, so, the B Club Mega Mix. I go one, two, three, and I have to try and remember to do one, two, three, because that doesn't always happen. But I go one, two, three, and then you guys all at the same time go. You ready? You want to say it out loud as well. V Club? V Club. Okay, you need to rehearse. <laughs> Doesn't just happen like magic. Okay. V Club, and you want to squeeze your cleavage together, especially the men. V Club, mega. Disco ball change. Disco ball change. Stand up. <laughs> this will keep you going for the rest of the day, honestly. You'll be glad you did this. <laughs> I was speaking into my cup, not the microphone. Yeah, welcome to Jared's world. Okay, so, so disco ball change, disco ball change. And this is a really important bit. This is the bit that sells it. Hell yeah. Okay? And then we'll see if we can add flawless, absolutely flawless. Okay, so after three, one, two, three. V Club Mega, Disco Ball Change, Disco Ball Change. Hell yeah! Okay, that was pretty good. It was almost as good as Nashville. Jacksonville Stadium! You have to do it louder and prouder uh, if you want to beat Nashville, especially you. Okay? Ready? Are you ready? Yeah! Okay, and when, when we do the hell yeah, right? Why don't we go into a freestyle of flawless, absolutely flawless? <laughs> and just see what happens. Let's just do that, right? Let's not practice that. Let's just see what happens. Okay? Okay. This is gonna work. It's totally gonna work. <laughs> if I can unlock my phone, it will work really well. Oh, okay, right. Flawless. Absolutely flawless. <laughs> I want to see your best Vogue. Oh, come on, Vogue. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to do this. So you're all going to get it, so you've all got to do it. Are you ready, Vegas? Peter, question or mic wasn't on. Okay, but basically you're asking me what have I got coming up? What else have I got that you can see me in? And what your favorite thing is coming up? In? Oh, okay. Um, I've got lots of cons. <laughs> I'm, pretty I'm pretty tired just looking at the itinerary. Like, oh, I'm going there and there and there. It's amazing. Um, my friend, I'll do. A, I'll, maybe you can tweet her, Nadia Jordan, Furry Cat Productions. Um, she's making a film, and she um, was in the music business quite successfully, and this is her first film that she's producing, and she's got quite a famous person attached to it, and it's something also, he's not attached to it, but it's something to do with George Clooney. 
and I'm in it. <laughs> See, you focused up the way there really quickly. I'm coming over. <laughs> so yeah, I'm excited to do that. That's probably going to happen April. Oh, is this April? March. March. So I've still got time to learn my lines. <laughs> Thank you for your question. So you get the shower cap all the way from New Zealand. I'm sure it'd be really useful. I know. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for your question. Uh, how are you all doing? See, they save the best to last, don't they? <laughs> don't all agree at once. <laughs> So I'm Alexis, I'm from Utah, and first of all I'd like to say that I really liked Rowena's character until she put Lucifer in Cass, and I was very happy that she got injured. Okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so I can take it. <laughs> Sorry for bringing that up again, but what was your reaction when reading the script and seeing that you were being injured? Injured. I like, the, I like the way you're kind of being kind. Pussy-pussing around it when he snapped my neck. <laughs> I have to say that um, I love the shot of that, the stills of me lying on the ground. <laughs> Sadly, I think it's the most beautiful shot that I've ever been in on, this, on the show, and it's when I was dead, uh, when I was gone. Um, what was the question? <laughs> What was your reaction to reading the script? And That's it. See, I was trying to avoid the question. I wasn't even letting myself remember it. Are you? Oh, I'm keeping that one. That's the David Tennant one. Are you? A, do you like Sam? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's quite nice, Sam, isn't he? It? It's quite tall. Dear to me. Oh. Um, my reaction. I'm stalling. I'm, I'm, I'm not doing it very well because I'm stalling so obviously. <laughs> I'm just like grinding to a halt because like, it's hard to say out loud how I feel. Is that, is that enough? Because I'm not, like I said to the ladies in the, in the, the meet and greet, in the gentleman in the meet and greet earlier, I've not come up with a glib, funny answer about it. Do you know what I mean? It's like, yeah. I just feel like, oh, oh, that's how I felt. Yeah. There's not, there's not really, there's not really a, a verb or, or a noun or there's not really a word that describes that. Thank you. Thank you. You're very, very beautiful. She is just gorgeous. Not that that's important. It's more important to be smart assed. <laughs> Loving your tweets about your ladies' watch parties when you guys get together. Yeah, to watch. yeah. yeah. So how that get started? And are you gonna keep doing it? Yeah, I am. Um, it started because I don't, I don't have a television. <laughs> when I first came to America, I was trying to save money, and I didn't, I couldn't afford a television, whatever. And um, I, before everyone else was streaming stuff, I would stream stuff. Uh, the way that everyone is now, all the time. Uh, so I do actually own a television, it's just not plugged into any anything that makes it go. <laughs> That's a technical explanation. <laughs> uh, and so there's a little Armenian cafe around the corner from my house. Really nice people, really down to earth, and you know, really nice food, and it's really not fancy. It's really, really down to earth. And so I invite, I, this, I said to them, the television screen's up on the wall, and I said, oh, I have an episode on Wednesday night, would you mind? A couple of friends, there was like 20 people turned up in this cafe. And uh, so now we, when, when we turn up, they're like, oh, it's a supernatural bunch. And, uh, and when I, I, met, I met somebody recently who works in Warner Brothers, they were like, oh, so you have the, you know, you have the, the Twitter parties for, was it? Uh, this is becoming a thing, and it's really fun because I get on, I get on so well. We all get on so well, um, and it's like 
Elena, Callum, Audrey, Catherine, Catherine's mum, Robin, uh, and who else? Oh, Lisa Berry, she comes a lot. She's lovely. She plays Billy Reaper. Yeah, she's great. I love her singing that song in the trailer thing. Wasn't that amazing? Yeah. So I'm a fangirl of Lisa. And uh, I don't know how I feel like if Misha or something came along, I'd probably be a little bit embarrassed. Like, it's just, it's my little cat But uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, I do intend to keep doing it. Yeah. Thank you. We've got Sam Andy's. Oh. She just said, You're so tiny. Like, like I need reminding. That's what she said. Ah, hello, boy. Hello. You're back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, see, somebody brought me a rose from, you know, some people. Do you think like that? They bring women flowers? You know, I'm just yeah, saying, like... You don't bring Ruth flowers. <laughs> you don't sing Ruth love songs. <laughs> you don't give her chocolate bunnies. <laughs> <laughs> you hardly talk to me anymore when I come to the door at the end of the day. What okay. kind of stuff did you give away, Ruth? I know you like to hand out bizarre I, things. I gave away a sanitary bag. Adam, of course you did. <laughs> <laughs> and, and a Sam doll. And okay. Some, and some chocolate. The biggest giveaway though was my bunny. That was a that was a sore one. Woo! And my man I had a beloved okay. treasure in the Borja home. Yes. Kids, nobody touches the bunny. <laughs> Why is it on the mantle? Because that's where it's gonna stay, on the mantle. <laughs> Conversation over. <laughs> uh ladies and gentlemen, how much do we love this woman? Give her a big, hearty Las Vegas salute, ladies and gentlemen. It's Ruth Connell, everybody. Specific. Thank you. I always enjoy what the band does, but I, but in Rob's absence, uh, the three gentlemen behind me stepped up in a huge way and were fantastic performers and entertainers. And again, an extra special thank you to Mr. Michael Mora, to Mr. Stephen Norton, and to Glenn Moran. Entertainers, musicians, great guys, all the like. Thank you guys. It was awesome. It was fun playing with you all weekend long. And for Rob Benedict and myself, this is adios. Thank you, Las Vegas, for our love. Thank you, Billy. Hope you had a good time. We did. Sadly, almost things like that. It is seen in another time as we know it.
I still have her restrained. <laughs> I told him oh, yes. autographs earlier. I was like, you know, I'm just gonna keep doing that. Okay, yeah, I'm going it's okay. Lindsay Vaughn is from Fangasm. <laughs> Hi guys. It was a great time. Uh, it smelled like Jared. <laughs> Okay, ladies and gentlemen, if you have a photo op with Ruth, please make your way to the photo ops room. We are going to be starting our autographs soon, but if you have a photo op with Ruth, please get that done and then come back. I was thinking, she's got that on her phone. I can see it. I can see it. That's so funny. Stage left, which is your right. 